Let us see how Vladimir is faring. Greetings, Captain. Now that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Blackest Sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts? It matches one on another planet. A bigger one. All right, let me transfer over the data. But I need you wearing caution's boots for this one. No telling what this thing is or why it's so large. Going to send you the mark close as I can but I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. And from there, maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. for me?
Captain, hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent cycle. What can I help you with? Carbons in abundance. Let us see how they have arranged themselves. Yes, you need me? Right.
What does your scanner reveal?
moving? They seem to react to us. Are you alright? We need to get you back to the lodge.
security here is so visible. I suppose it makes people more comfortable. Most people, anyway. I do not quite enjoy New Atlantis, but this... <laughs> this is much Crixus better. Bones. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm gonna start doing some scans. Like, right now. We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. An entire building generating a signature just like the artifact. Um, Vladimir, look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think we're going to need a little demonstration. Mind putting the paces to it? Come on. Let's see what that place did to you. Show the words another time, then. Need to see what happened. Ever run the scholars on the Centaurus proclamation? The original treaty that gave every human the right to colonize the stars? Stolen by some fool's joke of a crimson fleet rook looking to trade names to Captain. Sight to see pinned above my chair, like the whole settled systems was mine for the taking. Time dances its years forward, and I'd retired. That's when our own Sarah Morgan walks into the tale. Fire in her eyes and her head full of intel I thought I had spent the labor's efforts burying. Of course, I didn't have the Centaurus proclamation just lounging in my pockets. Belonged to the ship and her new captain in the fleet I had left behind. Tipped your ear long enough, but the short line of it, Sarah and I returned the treaty to the rightful owners. And I decided to hang around, lending old pirate's wisdom to the mission. That's why I missed your little welcome party. Got caught up plotting all the data the eye can give us. Wouldn't mind the helper's hand, though. Could speed the process along. Up-to-date planetary scans would help filter all the data I have to sift through. Maybe help to find the anomalous bits. And Constellation can slide a credit or two your way. All part of the mission of charting the stars, right? Then we're hand in hand in agreement. Now get out there and burn some helium. You've tipped my ear. Raise the thoughts with you later. saw that, right? Like a literal gift from the heavens. And also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird, weird. Well, I suppose we can't stop you. But I'm joining the Deny Everything to the Public Club for a while. There are several reasons to restrain yourself. Keeping it quiet is but one. And perhaps not the most important. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory, there might be one temple for each. But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then, it takes time.
Don't think it's just fortunes left that this temple responded to you. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten, all seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think about. Anyway, catch a smile out there. I'll work on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have.
Something you need? No organics. It would seem that the work here has come to an end. Well, you're back. Oh, we'll get to what happened to Barrett. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Don't you lin me. I thought things had already gone sideways. But no, that was just the beginning. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties, they didn't make it. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. For some, perhaps, Barrett is quite capable. All things considered. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one? in a headlock, drags him out into the open at gunpoint, and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the 10 longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. They could have grav-jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them... <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up.
ship you can succeed at that before we are discovered. Have my attention. Try fixing? I'm packing up Dusty. What a mess. Don't see what good it will do since they're already gone, but fine. Here. You need it? I'm fine, Dusty. In this line of work, you make do. Even when the worst happens. get that computer working again? What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand. Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Well, don't start buying me stuffed animals for my birthday or anything. But yes, all right. I don't like seeing my people hurt. Even Barrett and Hella. Just get after them, okay? And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I'm needed.
Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later.
every world with living. with all the painkillers and nausea meds running through me. It would seem prudent to accept any and all help offered to you right now. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. I'm getting to that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, this kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these hurly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work. But they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was, smiling like it was just another day on the job. You miss the fun part, Heller. I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, it's okay. I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. I was drifting in and out, but... Yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab-jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good... <clears throat> ...space to have a listen. <laughs> Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Y 
Yeah. Just, uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. <sighs> Give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. You bet. I've worked on enough remote outposts that I know a thing or two about optimizing them for material production. And if you're in the market for a mining buddy, I'm your guy. Phew, oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were gonna leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. about who built it, but how can we not? After what you experienced, do you have any insights? It is hard to argue, but the implications... I am sorry. After what you have been through, I should be asking about you. Are you all right? Have you felt any side effects? Yes, I meant apart from that. I am still trying to comprehend that on its own. The artifacts, that temple, this new ability you have acquired, clearly they are all connected. This is all so much bigger than we realized. You are right. Now we have even greater reason to press forward to learn more about what is at work here.
can I help? Nice to see you. I'm dying for something to do, boss. I'm up for a little adventure. So how much of a thrill has it been traveling with the one and only last descendant of the great Solomon Co? Is it everything you imagined? <laughs> well, that's a first. I gotta say, it's a relief being with you. So many people hear Cole and they expect me to pull some miracle out of a hat. Time has a way of just building on itself. Solomon was a good man. Great one, even. But if he ever heard all the bullshit being talked about him these days, he'd flat out deck him. I am. And I'm not. Yeah, there, uh, there was a time, well before Quora, where it really weighed on me. I felt like every little thing I did or didn't do was a reflection on our great legacy. It's enough to drive you crazy. Now I just hope I can help Cora to... I don't know. Well then, Cora's gonna get a five-star university education from me. For my father, Cora, and me, everything starts and ends with Solomon Co. He looked out at the stars and he dreamed a way to get there. Imagine being the first person to jump into a new system, set foot on a new world. Well, I get it. That's powerful stuff. And now... <laughs> I'm just getting sappy. You're a bad influence, you know that? <laughs> That's what I like about you. Well, I hope the comic book they make about our adventures is better than that rag on Solomon. The stuff they publish is just downright embarrassing. Uh, when the time's right, I'd appreciate a check. Captain, I believe your ship will perform more efficiently if you bring me on board. I've been standing around here an awfully long time, you know. Good to be on the bar. My lives get stuffy sometimes. Surviving being attacked, causing trouble. Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move. He's 
trying to figure out our destination. Probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Tie him up. Once we get back to the base... Landing site locked. Take us in. Even without life, there is the potential for beauty. Exaggerations this time.
I'm fine.
quite been able to think of New Atlantis as home. Well, I suppose I should. enjoy New Atlantis, but this, <laughs> this is much better. Held up on Vectera. Barrett, we were worried sick. Well, some of us were. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign that he's worried. Don't start. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library show. Now look at them all. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, had the visions. Being around them is just comforting. So hey, I I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around, help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe? Marvelous. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. I'm sure we have room for you on the ship, Walter. Might be cramped compared to what you're used to, but it'll get you there. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited.
Another day? What's new? The gnat is convenient, but riding right after eating can give you stomach aches. Every time I see that statue, it will be explained why. Construction, incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm mass. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekram offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. See that huge shield? It's part of the power system. Lightning provides a substantial amount of neon's energy. Act. It's 
snippers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you step through. Mr. Stroud, we didn't know you were coming in. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. You know, Mr. Stroud, you are so lucky. Walter. Issa. Joe, we continue from last time. The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes. The daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers. Alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise.
You're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Then what are we waiting for? Let's set you up. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Private meetings are usually held in the floor above. Just use the elevators. Come back soon. Excuse me. Get you something to drink? Well, Ben and I are good friends. <laughs> he personally gave me the job here at the Astral Lounge. Oh, he's a good man. Cares a lot about the citizens of Neon. Making sure they're all employed and well taken care of. A real humanitarian. Excellent choice. The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication you won't find anywhere else in the settled systems. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, all of its pleasures and pageantry are only an elevator away. While your enthusiasm for the property is appreciated, Pretty amazing, isn't it? That's Borealis, only 19 years old, and yet she produces some of the most heart-pounding, trippiest electronic music you've ever heard. I don't know where she gets her inspiration, but I'm betting all that free Aurora she gets has something to do with it. Well, that depends on if you're hungry or thirsty. Ah, a bit of a foodie, are we? I can't say I blame you. We're just as renowned for our cuisine here as we are for our drinks. First, let me tempt you with our melon caviar. Delicate, salty spheres of melon, hydroponically grown in our private aqua garden. And to finish, our lounge special strip. A grilled soy-based steak served with a steaming side of chipped potatoes. <laughs> That's delicious. Anything there sound appetizing? Or are you looking for something else? All right, well, I've got a couple of specialties of the house you might be interested in. First, there's our best seller, Sangria Astral, which is a curiously refreshing, fruit-infused red wine served in a commemorative bottle. But if your palate is a bit more refined, we have our Bayou Private Reserve, a painstakingly distilled cognac stored in the purest Arcturan crystal. That enough? Or are you hungry as well? Of course, of course. Of course, take your time. Enjoy the lounge.
Welcome to the Astro Lounge. The Astro Lounge? I'm afraid that would be it. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. Huh. You work for Stroud Eklund? Well, perhaps something could be arranged. Glad you understand the position I'm in here. I'm still willing to talk. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you are still interested. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Hope to see you again. James Newell better watch his back. He's causing problems. No percentage in causing problems in Neon. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Thinking of some... Well, that's all I have, too.
you're looking for supplies, this is the place. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Oh, I don't have a problem with this place. My problem is Siegert himself. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagert makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. I did. Maybe I didn't. Information isn't usually free. New intel, new transaction. Take it or leave it. Easy, friend. Not looking for trouble. I guess maybe I can add this to his tab. Okay. I don't know much. But I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep Crate 1. Let me write down the unit for you. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. I don't think they even knew what planet they were on. They're just kids having fun. Don't kid yourself, Rosa. Aurora isn't.
are you? Everything good? For dinner one more. What I don't sell ends up in troll. Vectera, by Vectera, by Vectera! I can't believe it! Is it you? Is it really, really you? Captain of the frontier, bane of the fleet, constellations shining star of stars. Then the day is truly blessed, because for a moment, I wasn't sure if you were real or just another hallucination. But now that I know it's you, what are the odds? And to think, I almost went for coffee instead. But I changed my routine for one day, and here you are. It's almost like it was meant to be. Me too. I was minding your business as well, visualizing it, dreaming it, and tending to it like a garden in bloom. And now, here it is, our first spring. Either way, it's such an honor to meet you. Hey, do you mind if I follow you around? Do you need a sidekick? What am I saying? You're a hero, of course you do! Lead the way! Good point. I'll start working on it right away, as soon as I learn how to sew. Until then! Maybe I can be a sidekick in training. Do you have an academy where fans can practice groveling at your feet? If not, I can start one. You won't be disappointed! Selling. All right, smartass, let's cut the bullshit. You either walked into the TA to buy some goods, sell some goods, or have some liberated goods taken off your hands for a reasonable price. So, instead of wasting my time making... Now that's what I'm talking about. Always happy to take...
been moving. How are the preparations coming? To the Astral Lounge and our cellar. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. You 
might want this. Take a break. Let's check. here. Now, I don't know what the seller looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Trevor. I was really hoping for a message written in invisible ink, but this will have to suffice. Remember, Ramsey and Travers will meet back near the elevator. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. I just saw our seller walk by. Good job. Now before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands. And we're not dead. How does that sound? This'll be fun. I find matching wits with the Neon Underworld to always be invigorating. Catherine Muzion keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. Flexing the muscles already, huh? Fine. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just settle on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. I leave now. I can get a jump start on the people after me, instead of you all wasting my time. You'd be on your way already if you just take the money I'm offering you and shut up. What's it going to be? Take or walk? I... 
あファイン、ディス・ティング・イズ・アル・ヨーズ。Well done! Some high pressure tactics, but we got what we Stop right there! You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. There a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Slayton is a man of considerable resources. Sending armed men into the Astral Lounge, Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We better get off the planet quickly. Gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Let's talk. When you have time, of course. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Arguments with Mr. Slayton tend to go long. I'm not sure we can fit you in. That doesn't sound like something Slayton Aerospace would have the legal authority to do, does it? I'm getting tired of telling you that isn't going to happen. I'm afraid we just can't book any more appointments today. Goodbye. Question, you can chat with the receptionist all you
Clearly isn't the executive. He's on to us. Walter. Uh, taking what's mine. Then breaking into my office. That's what he's Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy.
You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> Ah, it seems you have chosen more violence. Very well. I'll give the alarm! Can't really blame them. Look at us. Don't need it now. No now isn't the best time.
stupid. Neon security, y'all under arrest. You know, after conducting a thorough search, I'm surprised I didn't find any contraband. At all. But I still need to take you to the station to be processed. Hey, you might want this. Are you telling me? I have something for you. If my ship goes long again, my world's I'm not in the mood. stuff fasting hey um when you're not busy let's chat hey good to see you argue with that. I'm just used to costs only being measured in money whenever I can help it. Walter, friend, if money was always the answer, then we'd just send credits instead of people. Well, I may not agree with every outcome, but you did everything to accomplish our goals and more. I don't often get a chance to work in the field. So, thank you. Now, because we must. 
I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. The energy output from that ship is far above the normal rate. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. We'll get through this. Hold on! When you have a few moments, there's something I'd like to discuss. Vigilance indeed. So many of these fine folks joined Sis Death due to tragic circumstances. I'm telling you, the commander's got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? I still don't understand why he trusts a criminal. Seems like too much of a risk. Stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest. I'll be right back. Just sit tight. The commando wants to have a little chat. The prisoner is ready, sir. I hope you're comfortable. We have a lot to discuss. Not this time. Let me see what we're working with here. Hmm. It appears you spent several years as a bounty hunter. That type of background will get you quite far around here. I also see that you mined on Vectera, and now you're with Constellation. You've certainly been quite busy. Oh, and look at that. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crosshairs. I will, when I'm ready. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sistev. Are you familiar with what we do? Yes, well, this is your only opportunity to keep yourself out of jail. So I suggest you change your attitude. UC Sistev is a division of the UC Navy. Well, they handle the big picture stuff. 
We deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you enter the picture. No. No, you don't. Not yet, anyway. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years, trying to take them down one ship at a time. But we barely scratched the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, we have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. Not for me. For yourself. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UCC Steph, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. Of course you have a choice. It's just stacked in my favor. So, what do you say? You going to work with me, or should I find someone else? Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. There you are. Excellent. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Which is precisely why we're taking a more clandestine approach. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. I do. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. You'd better hope so. Sersha won't be easy to dupe. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. 
That's where my second-in-command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Eager to get going? Good. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. I wouldn't expect any less. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdev, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence-gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here, and good luck. As you were. Okay, hello. Yes, what? Hello. All right, we don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Well, you better. Commander Akande's entire operation is resting on your shoulders. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. You're damn right I do. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you understand why I'm pushing you so hard. That's all we're asking. Oh, before you go, there's one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return, as compensation for your efforts. Hmm? Yes. Commander Akande mentioned that when he proposed the idea. Lucky you. All right. We've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. Let me know if you need anything else. <clears throat> yes? Pardon. We've been gone forever. Though now isn't the best time. But I need to talk with you later. Ahoy, Captain! Take this. Enjoy. Souvenirs are fun to pick up. Anyway... I almost didn't pick it up, but then... If I see anything on... Let's get to the Lodge. We need to discuss this with them.
place is a delight. Now isn't the best time, but I need to talk with you. How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? Wait, what happened? Who was after you? Take a look at the ship's sensor data. I think everybody needs to see this. Uh, all right, I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone? Come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Star Board. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra dimensional the original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that, is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. Just because we can't ID it, doesn't mean it's not one of ours. It's got shields, engines, all the usual settled systems tech. I don't mean to judge your grasp of material engineering, but I've never seen a starship built out of whatever that is. Although I bet if you put that ship hull in an artifact under the same lens, you'd get a match. Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. Now isn't the best time, but I need to talk with you later. Can I help? What if we leave a few things here and make a second trip? I feel like I've been waiting my whole life for this. Constellation, the artifacts. Did you need that something? That sound crazy, does it? You had a hell of a shake getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The Eye can help you find the artifacts, but I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. I am fully updated and...
assist with ta- Asks. Good to see you again. Can I get you something? Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? <laughs> nope, sorry. Can't pull one over on me. I'm good with faces and I don't recognize yours. Go ahead and make yourself comfortable, new girl. Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Catch you later. If it belongs on your ship, then I'm sure we have it for sale. Hi there. Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to... I can take care of transactions and... Oh, please, take a look.
Thanks. It's hard work, but it all pays off in the end. And I can't take all the credit. Gerhardt, my business partner, he does so much of the work behind the scenes. If it weren't for him, I don't know where we'd be now. Thanks for coming in. Hey, Dusty. If you're ever thinking to yourself, ah, oh, I could really listen to Barrett's voice.
some planets, it takes a millennia for some cave formations to grow. On others, it can take days. I know now isn't the best time, but I need to talk with you later.
I know now isn't the best time, but I need to talk with you later. I have to talk about the Starborn. Do you have a second? You do, right? Come on. Captain, I know you aren't that insecure, so stop joking around. It's okay to admit it was kind of a big deal. It could be the dawn of a new era of humanity. Or it could be an elaborate prank or any number of mundane explanations. Well, they were definitely unusual, but aliens seem so inhuman, obviously. I just have so many questions. We just need more data. There has to be a way to draw them out and figure out where they're coming from. Now, we don't know why they wanted the artifact. They could have agreeable intentions. This could be a turning point for humanity, you know? Or it could be just the emergence of a powerful new faction, or some sort of elite military tech. Or a gazillionaire with nothing else to do. All we know is that they wanted that artifact badly. Yeah, that's how they appear right now. Maybe we can use that to our advantage, though. And who knows? Maybe we'll never see them again. Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. I've been meaning to thank you for helping me with the Crimson Fleet before. I could have handled it myself, of course, but it's good working with a team. It's good to be part of a team, isn't it? part of something so much bigger than any one of us. So many things can go wrong out there. Working with people you can trust is important. That's why I've been in Constellation so long. It's good to have people who will help out when you're in a jam. Uh, just wait till we get matching shirts and start having official cookie days. humanity's greatest achievements. Modern medicine, space travel, and cookies. Constellation is quite pro-cookie. Because, you see, we value human accomplishments. Speaking of which, I'm glad you joined Constellation. Just figured I'd mention it, since we haven't had much time to chat before. You know... Being a member of Constellation has given me a lot of opportunities, and a fair bit of stress, I'll admit. It's hard to imagine just who I'd be had I never joined up. I would have never done so many things, met so many people. It's mind-boggling how different I would be. And I never would have met Irvin. Or lost him, I suppose. That's right. We can't know, but for the choices we made, Irvin's been gone. Yeah, don't worry. I've ignored my feet. I'm just fortunate. I mean, where else? On that note... Find your seats, stow your belongings. Yes? I wanted to talk to you, but honestly, I don't know where to begin. The Starborn's technology is simply astonishing. It's just... almost too much to process. Yes, <laughs> I suppose I am. But you can hardly blame me, can you? You do understand the significance of this encounter, don't you? This is humankind's first contact with what I believe is an alien race. A race with technology that could be far superior to our own. Oh, 
Oh, we could learn so much from them. Oh, I do. More than you'll ever know. Can't be a coincidence that these Starborn suddenly appeared after your experience at that temple. We know they're here to lay claim to the artifacts, but what's their true motivation? What aren't they telling us? They're certainly hostile, but I don't think they're here to completely annihilate us, or they would have done so already. Damn. Oh, if only we knew more about the Starborn. What their species is like, where they're from, how they're able to speak our language. I feel like a cadet on my very first day aboard a spaceship. My mind is absolutely swimming with questions. Obviously. But there has to be more to these beings than simply originating from another world. Their name alone, Starborn. There's some type of hidden meaning there. Something that feels very old. Perhaps even ancient. Whatever the case may be, I can assure you that Constellation intends to get to the bottom of this mystery. To a degree, yes. Every bit of exploration comes with inherent risk. If we continue to avoid life's mysteries, we'll barely make progress as a species. I'm grateful you feel that way. And don't worry, I promise to be careful. You know, it's funny. When I was a little girl, I'd lay on the ground and stare up at the stars. I was absolutely convinced they held a secret. I'd remain there for hours in silence, eyes closed, listening, waiting for the secret to be whispered in my ear. This encounter with the Starborn is that moment to me. The stars are finally whispering, and I need to hear what they have to say. Hmm. Although I'm flattered that you think of me that way, there's a time and a place for that sort of talk. This is definitely not one of them. Well then, I've certainly wasted enough of your valuable time. Just do be careful if you cross paths with these Starborn in the future. I wouldn't want to lose one of the most valuable members of Constellation. I'm listening. Hey, Dad. Want to hear a poem I wrote? It's called a haiku. I just read about them. Goodbye. A haiku, huh?
advised, you are okay. entering United it's Colonies space. space. Please maintain course <laughs> and prepare to be scanned. Space is cold and dark. Starships fly there Get like completed. comets, you carrying us home. Hey, can you write it down so I can carry a copy, please? I'll copy down, too. You know how you lose things. I still don't know how you lost that picture of Nibbles the Comet eating bunny. Every time I return, it seems like the city's a bit more crowded. My crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by to trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. I'm sure you can find something you like. How about it? 
The trade authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side, near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoint. Sure thing. We'll get it fixed up. Good as new. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me.
like we've been gone forever. It's good to be out the valley. Welcome well, back. Stuffy Your ship is way bigger than Dad's. How are you, Dusty? Goodbye. Books. I guess it is. Do you have more books, or can you buy me more books? With real pages, a spine, the whole package. My book allowance is all gone, and Dad won't get me more. So, books? Hey, uh, don't let her con you out of more credits. Her book allowance damn near bankrupted me. Dad, this is between us. Oh, Dad, you've made the best friend ever. Well, now you've done it. Now you can get pestered about books nonstop. Yeah, a small price to pay for my education. Now the important question. Pizza, favorite topping? And please don't say cheese. Dad loves boring old cheese. Did you hear that, Dad? Meat! We have you outnumbered! We could always get one of each. No, you lose. <laughs> I have decided that I will stay. You have the Cora stamp of approval. I, uh, seem to have left my stamp back on Dad's ship. But imagine it there, on your arm. Cora approves! some stuff in my mind when you have the time.
soldiers, right? Space is always just a little safer with you. Any way we can repay you? Transferring credits now. Thanks again for the help. Over and out. I'm up for a little adventure. You look well. Break time's over. Let's get moving. Excuse me.
place A4 for the likes of you.
new book. If this is the seat of the UC government, they found themselves the most comfortable chair in the galaxy. Captain, I am fully updated and ready to assist. Oh, look at how far we've come. It's all becoming so overwhelming. The Starborn, the artifact visions, the music. Is it all worth it? Mateo, are you having a crisis of faith? You? What if the Starborn are right? What if our hunt for the artifacts is a fool's errand, doomed to failure and catastrophe? You think we're doing the wrong thing? We just want answers. Isn't that why we all joined in the first place? The noble quest of discovery? Don't do this. We're making history here. We'll deal with the Starborn. Together. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to shame either of you. Blame the workings of a worried mind. I just hope that this journey doesn't turn us into something that we wouldn't recognize from where we are now. Hate to interrupt, but I have a favor to ask. Lot of equipment on the eye has reached the span's end. If we're going to find more artifacts further out, we need work done. Got the nods and signs from Sarah and Walter for the materials, but I need hands. Yeah, and I have. Need more than just the you and I. Ask around. A few constellations are already on their way up. This really is the charter territory.
got anything you need to offload? Authorities always buy. He has right here for you. Kind of breaking my conscience. Wrenches and let's tighten this equipment down. Just grab a wrench. Should be quick. We'll fire everything up once it's all tightened down. My attention's glue is this dish. Hey, you mind helping me weld up some of these panels? <sighs> well, we can't win them all, I guess. Well, that nothing's supposed to happen. You color the wrong wires. 
station showing red. Nastier than I measured. Figured a few of the parts might be iffy, but this is going to take more than a span. I won't leave you hanging, Vladimir. Kor and I can stay with you until the eye is back to 100%. No need for the martyr's clothes, but I'm happy to have the help. As for you, while we're giving the eye the swords, need to tip your ear on another matter when you got the time. I don't want to worry anyone, but we got more competition. Not Starborn, rival collector. Captain Petrov owns a salvager vessel called the Scow, runs it like a palace of novelties, and he's got a new prize in his collection. Reached out through my hand to hands to see if we can do an honest swap. He says the rock ain't for sale for any price. Think we're gonna need a crowbar and bag for this one. Left the life of a jack of ones behind myself. I know what I'm asking. But I see a clutch prize not up for the prying any other way. Not sending you lone hook on the job. I want Barrett with you on this one. You two will be foot to foot the whole way, so make sure you're ready. Catch a smile out there. Make sure things are in order then. Glad to see you're back in one piece.
exactly as we left it, right? Right. Nice to see you. Let you on board. But Petrov was done hiring mosquitoes. Or maybe you're after something from the captain's collection. Oh, God, the captain's gonna love you. Just what I need two blowhards. Hello, excuse me, three blowhards. Go on then.
now. wasn't aware we had the visitors. Wadik, you didn't tell me we had visitors. <sighs> we have visitors. Excellent. Now that you've gone to all this trouble to get here, you should make yourself at home. Relax. Kick up your feet on the tables. I don't care they have scorch marks on them anyway. Oh, ho, ho. flattery, huh? My favorite pastime, huh? Between you and me, I do have something very special in the vault. Ah, but my jealous heart knows no bounds. I want to keep it all to myself. Tempting. I do love showing off. But my security team will have a heart attack. It would be against all those protocols that I admittedly told them to make. No. Now, some things need to be just for me. Now, now, no need to be insulting. Hmm. I'm not falling for that. You're not getting past me. No. No, for once I have to lean on my better judgment. The vault has to stay closed. You! My favorite person. Besides everyone else, of course. Do you like my ship? Stole it myself. Well, technically I sell Scrap. But who wants to be so dreadfully dull, eh? Huh? Have it over, that's mine. <sighs> Enjoy your time. Guards here are bounty hunters, smugglers, or salvagers from the fringes. A lot of shark smiles, you know.
I surrender! I surrender! Don't kill me! The captain's word is good. Done! Stand down, everyone! Let the nice pirate pass! Oh, don't worry about the mess. I'm sure we can find a place to put the bodies. So what? We're just going to let you move the ship? Damn pirate! Get what you came for. Damn it, Petrov. I was just kind of... Oh, God. Wonder how much Get Petrov out of here. needed to pay to recover from all this. Captain's a coward. If it were me, I'd be going. Filthy pirate. We're not gonna forget this. Damn pirate.
Vlad, come in. Come in. The eye's gone completely dark. I, I can't reach anyone on the station. Noel, Starborn, came out of nowhere. Vladimir, get out of there! He already left, said he was going to, uh, to the lodge. Sam, uh, he's, he's still breathing, but oh god, all that blood! Hello, Constellation. Are you there? Who are you? What did you do to our friends? They call me the Hunter. And now that I'm here, your part in glimpsing the unity is over. I'm already on my way. Say goodbye to your friends. It won't be long. Forget about us! That starborn bastard is after the artifacts! You can't let him take them! Pack up the collection, move it somewhere they can't find it! Damn it. Vladimir's right. We need to get the artifacts packed up, and that means holding off the starborn. What about everyone on the eye? We can't leave them to die up there. Look, I get it, but our best chance is staying here. I don't know how long it's going to take to pack up the artifacts. I... I'll get started. Hopefully this will only take a few minutes, if my hands can stop shaking. Take cover, everyone. Where? I just need a little time. You really expect them to barge through the front door? That's right, Walter. He's just stopping by for a I'll chat I'll work as and fast as I can. Keep it down. I'm trying to work here. Oh God, where do I start? Walter, are you all right? The eye's gone completely dark. I, I can't reach. Noel, stop. Vladimir! He already left. Sam! Hello! Who are you? They call me the hunter. I'm already on my Forget about the pack up the collect. Damn it. What about everyone on the Look, I get it. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Hopefully this will only take a few minutes, if my hands can stop shaking. Take cover, everyone. Where? You really expect them to barge through the front door? That's right, Walter. He's just stopping by for a chat in a pot.
Oh, thank heavens. You're all right. I'll be okay now. Go on. Take care of the others. Sam? Come on, Sam. Talk to me. No, not again. I can't bury another friend, Sam. I can't. Don't go. Dad! Dad, get up! Get up! Please? Go away! I told him you were coming. He just had to hold on a little longer. I hate you! Leave me alone! You're... 
Alive. Krix's ghost can keep waiting. No tears for the old. Got the others to worry about. Nowhere. Thank you. Uh, I don't think I can move right away. But I'll make it. Go on. to talk locks and bolts. Lodge and the eye are not secure. Got the right of it. The hunter, he, um... He, he probably found us because we're somewhere obvious. High populated area, just like how the Starborn found you orbiting Neon the first time. But the fact that they're competing with us to find the artifacts means they can't get them without searching. So we put the artifacts somewhere in the fringe, or on something that can slip from their grasp if they do another strike from the curtain. Fine idea. Starborn show up, you can burn helium in one spin of the grab drive to anywhere. Here. Keep the artifacts safe. I guess... We'll meet back at the lodge after.
Good to see you. Guess it was too much to hope we'd all make it. I'm so excited to see Tony after work. Lodge feels a little colder than it used to. We all feel like we've been kicked in the back a million times over, but I think I have something. I'm serious. If I may, I know our encounter with the hunter is the last thing anyone wants to talk about right now, but he said something that I can't get out of my mind. Unity. Do you remember that?
exactly, somehow. The thing is, I've heard that word before. It's an important concept in Keeper Aquilus' speeches. The priest? Is the Sanctum Universum going to bless our little crusade of discovery? It can't be a coincidence. The Sanctum has always believed that answers are out there in the stars. Look, I know it's the longest of shots and the biggest leap of faith I could ever ask us all to take, but... Why not talk to him? I get why you say that, I do. Sometimes it's just a coincidence, but sometimes it's a signal left by somebody deliberately. I don't need to believe in a higher power to know that people are terrible at keeping secrets. But why not go with a little intuition? Many great things in our history were discovered because someone had faith it would be there. I don't want to dismiss your skepticism, but what do we have to lose? I'll meet you over there. You forget much more. I guess that is to be expected. If you need time away from here, I'll understand. We all have to recover in our own way. Thank you for helping me out with the artifacts. Okay, well, I've had that effect on people before. Can you believe this tree was here before the city? someone insults you, you want to just beat the shit out of them sometimes, but you don't. <laughs> well, not quite what I was thinking, but that's actually a great example, Marcus. The man in the story was cruel. Do you know why he was cruel? You must feel what he feels. Understand his pain. Accept it. And deliver it not back upon him. Empathy. You mean empathy. <laughs> but you say it like it's easy. Like anyone can... just... love a terrible person who has been terrible to them. Yeah. Why even bother? I mean, isn't the cycle of humanity peace and war back and forth, like forever? Seems kind of pointless to try so hard for something that won't last. Nothing ever really changes. Well, it's not easy. No. But necessary, because you see, everything has changed. God has given us the intelligence, the ingenuity to reach into the stars, to travel his path, to truly find him. But we can't do it alone. The only way is through unity. Keeper Aquilus, can we have a moment? Ah, oh, Mateo, it's been too long. How are your parents? 
Your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper, I didn't come to catch up. Oh. Well, what's on both your minds? What? Th that's, um... What we mean is... We think there's something in the Sanctum's teachings connected to what we've been investigating. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well, does it mean anything else? Something secret? Perhaps you should talk about this inside. Aquilus has helped me through some tough times lately. Now that we have a little privacy, why don't you tell me exactly what it is that brought you two here? They're like nothing we've ever seen, Keeper. Gravitational distortion, sub-audio harmonic sequencing, unidentifiable energy fluctuations. Well, I caught half of that. So, these things are unusual? Even in your experience? There have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought, we enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet, the risk is made anyway. So, you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. Now wait, I know it's frustrating to be in the dark, but if you're willing to struggle for just a bit longer, I think I can give you a path to discovering its meaning. There's an old story, far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but maybe it's more.
I understand you have doubts, but walk with me just a little bit further. In my story, the pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun, and he gave them each a part of the truth. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum, his addition or contribution to the infinite. But what if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code, a way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave? I understand. So much to ponder. Sometimes it's difficult to know where to start. But what if it does? Not my version, obviously, but the House of Enlightenment. Varun. I've spoken to them before, but I never thought of scrutinizing their answers for clues. because I wasn't looking to find unity in the same sense you are. A fresh set of eyes might reveal the truth. Oh yes, typically. But there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I've visited her a couple of times. Hopefully, she'll be willing to talk to you as well. And if you need directions to the Enlightened, they have a branch in the well helping the poorest citizens of New Atlantis find a better life for themselves. I'll stay here with the Keeper. We need to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions. If it's about the financial or food assistance programs, we are backlogged. 
Don't worry, we're doing everything we can. Oh, I'm not. Sorry. Can I help you? Listen, I've talked about this with him a ton of times, and there's no record of a Unity Pilgrim. But since you both insist, our early records are mostly administrative. Humanitarian projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. A man walks into the first house of enlightenment. The founding members just call him the Drifter. So they think he's a charity case at first, but no, the Drifter asks them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really looking for? And the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward. And it kind of goes on like that. He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation every time. Second person this, the problem of do that. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. After the records of the Drifter end, you never see anything like it again. Always happy to help. If you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of aid efforts to coordinate. I'm not much for prayer. Try to once to the stick, but it's like day. I'm not gonna be stuck in this place for long. All I need is a grace, and I'll turn it into a break. You'll see. Mess with me, and I'll serve you my famous knuckle sandwich. <laughs> Scared, aren't ya? about Henry from time to time. Not very often these days, but that's fine. I wonder if I'll miss New Atlantis when Tony and I leave.
Well, you're back. What did you learn? Was there something hidden in their stories, like we thought? Was there something more on your mind? If you have questions, I'm happy to try and answer. But you do have to actually ask first. If there really is a location the Pilgrim wanted us to find, those do sound awfully like coordinates. What else did you learn? Yes, what he added to infinity. Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Was there anything else? are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Something that could point to a planet in the system. But what's the name of the system? Infinitum addendum. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in and dumb. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. Oh, you figured it out then. Well, good. I hope you find it. The true meaning of unity. Before you go, You've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but if you had to guess what it was, what interpretation would you give it? And once you know, what will you do? Even the most objective scientist holds the belief that observation itself will be of benefit to humanity. You will be taking a similar part of yourself with you when you find the answer. Will that not color your perception of it? When one is lost, Looking inward can help show the way. 
So you're committed to keeping yourself from seeing unity as anything other than a rational objective, a goal you're bound to reach. Well, I won't keep you any longer. This has been fun, I have to admit. Go, find your truth.
Where have you been?
Any way we can repay you? Transferring credits now. We got to resume our patrol. Stay safe.